Dear students, welcome to our lesson. Welcome to English 202 Lesson Trends. By the end of the lesson, we will achieve the presented goals. First, we will identify some of the new trends, practice phrasal verbs and the contents of trends, and compose some, about, some writing about recent trend. The first question is, what is a trend? Trend is a change in people's behavior or in a, uh, or in a situation. So let us see the sentences here. Which one is more applied to you? I like to follow trends and be fashionable, or I have my own style, not interested in the following trends fashion. Which one is more suitable to you? As you see, we have three questions. The first question, what are the current trends in Bahrain? The next one, which, are, which trends are in other countries? The third one, which are old-fashioned trends that, that we think could return back? In the two boxes here, we see many different kinds of trends. For example, number one, retiring at an early age, creating a work from home business, recycling and looking after your environment, joining healthy clubs, being vegan, growing your own vegetables, drinking iced coffee, using social media, spending weekend at hotels, wearing training shoes at all times, having a theme for birthdays. So these are the possible answers for the uh, questions that I have just uh, shown you. Uh, the first answer is using social media, wearing sports shoes and training shoes when not playing sports. The next one, reality shows, having cosmic surgeries, getting married later in life, being concerned about diet and health. The third one, American style coffee shops, recycling and looking after the environment. Okay, now, as you see here, we have many fields that possible trends can be uh, seen in them. For example, we have the technology, business, leisure time, family, life, education, and work. So can you come up with some of the ideas related to these fields, these fields related to the trends? For example, here we have the technology trends. It could be the artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and robotics. How about the rest of the fields like business, leisure time, family, education, and work? What are the other future possible trends that can be found in these fields? As you see here, some of the possible answers. Like in work, we might work later in using flexible hours, for example. For example, we might work with uh, mobile devices and we might also be working in smart offices. Uh, how about family life? Family trend can be like the family size might increase, sharing their interests and business members. And whereas the education, we might see some internet evolution, mobile learning, problem solving, self-directed learning, competency-based learning. Okay, I hope you understand uh, the trends and the future trends and these fields. Now we will move to the grammar. We will discuss the phrasal verbs. What are the phrasal verbs? The, fra the phrasal verbs are actually groups of words that, uh, that uh, consist of a verb, a proposition or a verb, and an adverb. These group of words, when combined together, form a new meaning. But when they are ind an individual, the meaning is different. Now we'll try to understand the meaning of the phrasal verbs in the presented text. The first phrasal verb is keeping up with, catch out, talk over, slow down, die out, buy into, pick up, and find out. So let us read the text together. It's a great challenge keeping up with trends in our lives. In the past, things changed gradually, but nowadays new trends uh, seem to catch out quickly. 
Trends are present events in food, especially for teens and young adults. Desserts are a living example. The trend of a melting chocolate bowl suddenly took over menus in almost all restaurants and coffee shops. Some people even try to make it at home. However, that began to slow down and the passion for it started to die out. It's amazing how trends spread rapidly and people buy into them. Social connections help, uh, social connection help people pick up on new ideas or trends since the opinion within these network is usually trusted. That has changed with the social media network that made it easy to find out global trends and not just local. We see here from one to eight, uh, the meaning, the possible meanings of the phrasal verb presented here. The first one, discover, gain control of something or someone, maintain the same level, uh, become less fast, rapid, notice something which is not easy to notice, become fashionable or popular, disappear completely, believe in and be influenced. As you see, these are the answers of the phrasal verbs. The first one, find out, discover, take over, gain control of something or someone, keep up with, maintain the same level as, slow down, become less fast, rapid, pick up on, notice something which is not easy to notice, catch on, become fashionable or popular, die out, disappear completely, and buy into, believe in, and be influenced by. Today's task will be try to answer first these four questions to write a possible uh, to write a possible writing about the trends the first question is where uh, where any trends the same in your country or city which trends were for young people and where uh, where any trends strange or boring which trends have followed so through answering these questions you will be able to come up with a writing that is related to the uh, to the trends. Here, as you see, some of the possible answers. For example, for uh, number one, where uh, where any trends the same in your country or city? A possible answer can be most of the trends are alike from one country to another. Special technology. The next question: Which trends were for young people? A possible answer could be most trends that links to technology and multimedia are are suitable. For young people, the third question, where any trends, strange or boring, it could be one of the answers. Some trends were strange, especially with fashion. And for which trends have you followed? A possible answer could be technology trend is very much suitable for my interest. So at the end, we will come up with the writing similar to this one. Uh, I'll read it for you, the first paragraph. Most of the trend are generally alike across the countries. One of the most recent trends in our country is technology transformation. Technology and multimedia has highly dominated our society through the generations. The country wisely chose to adapt to the technology transformation by merging it and creating a vision to have the employees reform their duties and responsibilities using the different type of technology available. Therefore, Bahrain has completely changed their infrastructure and utilized the advances in technology. As a result, there has been a fast growth for the technical jobs where technical skills are needed. The use of technology in education has also reached its peak and students in all educational cycles are now involved. Hence, mastering tools of technology has now become a priority for everyone to perform tasks in all matters of life. This dramatic transformation was found a bit strange, especially for those people who feel more comfortable with conventional methods. On the other hand, the Ministry of Education was quick in its measures. So a clear plan was set and the 2030 Bahraini School Vision was created. One of the many actions that were taken in this regard, the education system started e-learning and implemented mobile learning as well as 
teaching about artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, robotics, genetics, and this very much influenced my interest. It is also noticed that the citizens, uh, it is also noticed that the citizens are highly welcoming and influenced by the use of technology in education and its related trends, which is noted through the family's engagement in their children's progress. In the end, technology is generally used to help speed up the work process and have it performed in a professional manner. Thank you for perseverance and hard work.